Uh, most of what I know of it is that it varies wildly. I like to think I've read up on it, but I'm certainly not an expert. If I'd heard the crime, I'd probably know how much time ought to be given, yeah. Damn, that's resourceful. I don't know. It doesn't seem like they got around to, to selling it. Six months. It's probably a pretty extreme sentence. I don't agree with this, but I think the United States would probably sentence him anywhere from like 15 to 30 years. Oh. I think it's way too long. Six years ago, I was in college. It's a huge chunk of your life. It doesn't seem so bad given how many people get thrown in jail for so, so long for like possession of marijuana. A fireworks store on fire. That sounds cool to watch. Assuming anyone didn't die, anywhere from five to 10 years, maybe? Maybe a couple years in prison? Oh, six to 20, okay. That's a really big range. That, that's stupid, these are, so, these are so arbitrary. I already know it's Rock Turner, and yeah, he should still be somewhere put away for a very long time. The reason that it sucks to hear that Brock Turner got three months in jail, for me, it isn't because I'm a glutton for punishment. I think it sucks that maybe because of the color of his skin or who his parents are or his history, he got a really short sentence for something that is awful and other people get longer sentences for things that are way less awful. For ganging up on a woman and sexually assaulting her, I would say that, yeah, I want you to be separated from the rest of society for a long time. The highest sentencing you could throw at them, like, mock them up. I know what it should be. I'm going to guess it's a few months. Ugh, it's just so fucked up, because this is fucked up. Like, in my heart of hearts, I want to be like, good, he's a fucking rapist, and, like, he deserves it. Um, I just can't sit here and be like, jail is a good thing. But... I think it's fucked that this guy uh, has to account for his crimes and Brock Turner does not. I think Brock Turner should. Because of the images that were shown growing up, when we see an African American, like we think criminal, and we see a white dude, we think like someone who had a bad night and like made a mistake. Sexual assault, no matter who you are, who the perpetrator is, is awful and devastating and should be punished, but I feel like it's probably true that students of color, black athletes specifically, tend to face harsher punishments. I mean, this is awful. Life, I think that person should get life. I always go around saying I, I don't even believe in the death penalty, but sometimes things come up that really make me question that. Oh my god, 60 days. Is that real? Why does it say unknown? They couldn't reveal his identity because uh, his daughter is still a minor. And so now potentially they may uh, still be in contact. Like, I don't know, like what? I feel really bad for that daughter. I don't know what the dynamics are in that family or what they'll be like in the future. If I were the, f the parent of children and my partner violated my child in this way, I would want them out of my child's life. With all equal before the law being the platitude that gets thrown around, 60 days. repeatedly raping your teenage daughter. Yeah, I don't think you should get out. It, it is noteworthy to me that this man seems to be Latino. There's no mugshot for that last one, but I saw a photo online and he is a white guy. We can read or think we know a lot about the criminal justice system, but... It's going to take really serious top to bottom reforms to be able to get anything close to resembling standardization of sentencing. Someone who commits the very same crime as someone who committed that like 10 years ago may get a substantially harsher sentence just because of the time that they're living in or the place that they've committed that crime. If something like this doesn't wake you up, I, I, don't, I don't know what will. <laughs>